In that case, we can continue to mix match. What is the final objective? You want to end up with a generic model, which is gonna make the classification judgments. It's gonna produce a distribution over your labels. And here is an overview of the type of topics that we covered so far. One of them was consistency regularization. And this is all about regularization, if you think about it, the virtual adversarial training and the consistency between the student and the teacher that we just covered. You're trying to regularize this function. In the first case, you wanted it to be smooth. In the second case, you wanted things to be consistent. And why would you do that? You usually do regularization when you don't have enough labeled data. A big class of solutions to self-supervised, sorry, semi-supervised learning is consistency regularization, where you're encouraging your model to produce the same output distribution even when the inputs are perturbed. You have an augmentation over your input data, perhaps rotate them, translate them, shift them, add noise to them. And then consistency says that I want the predictions of my model under different augmentation strategies of my input to be the same, to be consistent. Mean teacher was doing that. In addition to this parameter theta being a exponential moving average of the parameters of the student. We just covered it. Virtual adversarial training is gonna play around with the augmentation strategy. You're gonna augment in the direction, which is an adversarial direct direction. It's gonna make your model uh, make a mistake. It's the direction where your model is most vulnerable. You can do entropy minimization, which says that you're gonna encourage your model to output confident predictions where you have unlabeled data. There are a couple of methods of doing it. We can look at the entropy of your model on your unlabeled data, minimize that. This is gonna make your model more confident. We can have the concept of pseudo labels where you're gonna use the previous version of your model to label the un unlabeled data. It's gonna put a distribution on the labels and then you're gonna pick the maximum and then no gradients are gonna go through it anymore. These are hard labels versus soft labels. And then there is this concept of sharpening. And then there are some traditional regularization techniques. These, are, these also help, for instance, weight decay or mix up. We covered mix up in part one of the course. You usually have two pairs of images, two pairs of labels, corresponding labels. You mix the images. This is a convex combination of your images. You can think of X1 as the image of a cat, X2 as the image of a dog, and then X prime is a weighted combination of those two. It's a convex combination of those two, which is gonna end up being an image between a cat and a dog. At the same time, it's label needs to adjust. There is a minor difference with the standard mix-up, and that is the case where you choose your lambda or lambda prime to be always closer to your labeled data because on the unlabeled data, you don't have much information. So you pick lambda prime so that you're closer to X1 and P1 rather than X2 and P2. P2, you don't have any labels and you're gonna see how you're gonna deal with that. So traditional regularization, entropy minimization and consistency regularization are some methods to help us do semi-supervised learning. I'm gonna stop here and cover sharpening and mix match next session. For those of you who have questions, I'll be around.